So as you can see in the intro, today we're gonna to be doing the 3D viral sort of text effect for your Instagram Reels, YouTube videos, whatever it may be. And also the link to the footage is gonna be down in the description below. So that way you guys can follow along the tutorial and learn a new skill today. But real quick, before we go ahead and get into today's tutorial, I want you guys to know that my name is Chris Bustead and I run the Takeover Shop. We're so editing assets, presets, a course, one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me for editors just like you. But without other way, let's go ahead and jump straight into today's tutorial. So now that you guys have this footage loaded into your timeline, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and I'm actually just gonna unlock link this because i do not need the audio so i just hit Control l delete the audio as well um i'm just gonna go ahead and play it through let's go ahead and color grade it so i'm gonna go limit your color i'm gonna go to my creative lut i'm gonna throw all my season lut it's literally my favorite lut if you want to go ahead and cop that lut lut pack is right here or you guys can buy my all access pack for half off right now so moving on let's go ahead and throw in our text so i'm just gonna go ahead and do how to i'm gonna hit Control a I'm gonna go to properties I'm gonna change this to the font that we like so open sauce sans black i'm going to turn the font size down i'm going to center it also center right here center just like so and then we're going to use this y position to move it down just like that i'm going to go ahead and make this happen or drag this out for the entire length of the video and then i'm just going to go ahead and hold alt drag up release my mouse button and then also release alt after the mouse button and then it's going to create a duplicate I'm going to go over here to the vector motion. I'm just going to bring this down just like so. And then we're going to double click this and then 3D. And we're just going to do 3D text just like that. Actually, let's just do 3D, the word 3D. And then we'll actually do another line by duplicating the same exact thing, double clicking text. And then we're just going to go ahead and move this down just like this easy i actually really want to add on some like transitions or like text effects to have them sort of slide in up so i'm going to go ahead and go to my takeover preset pack uh the minimal style editing pack super goaded uh, has very simple sort of modern text effects highly recommend the pack literally it's been my best seller the past couple months so you should go ahead and copy if you haven't already so i'm going to go ahead and select all of these texts I'm, i want them all to slide in up so i'm going to hold command and i also want them to flicker in just like so I'm just going to drag and drop this like that. We're going to go ahead and play that through. And it looks really, really good. Sick. Now in After Effects, we're going to go ahead and stagger them. So that way they like don't come in at the same time. So it'll look something like that. So it'll be like one, two, three, like that. But for now, just leave it like so. And then we're just going to go ahead and right click just like this. Replace with After Effects composition. And what this is going to do is going to open up inside of Adobe After Effects. And this is where the real 3D sauce sort of takes place. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and rename it. Uh, just 3D text tutorial go ahead and hit save just like that it's going to bring up this sort of video and then as you guys can see we have the effects just like that loaded up onto our text i'm going to go ahead and make motion blur enabled so enable it like that enable and then also i'm just going to make these 3d layers just for now and then we actually want to go ahead and go to the right side go to tracker track camera because we want to track the camera movement hit okay and then right now it is actually initializing the uh sort of 3d camera tracker layer and we're just gonna let this do its thing until it is completed and done ready to go tracker is sort of done and as you guys can say, see if you guys throw this up camera points will be added all you have to do is go ahead and create camera just like so i'm gonna create the camera i'm just gonna go ahead and trim all of these just like this so i'm gonna hold down shift select command d split Go ahead, hit the delete key, and then we're good to go. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and enable these text layers again, just like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and just resize these sort of texts to where we really want them to be. So I'm just going to go ahead, hold shift on all of these. I'm going to hit scale, scale them up like this. Make them kind of the right size that I'm really looking for. It actually helps if you go to the end of the clip, kind of like the end of the pan, I guess. And then we're just going to go ahead and hit P for position on the top layer. I'm just going to go ahead, control the Y axis or Y axis. We're going to move this down Then I actually want to move this over to the right, just like so. And then I'm just going to go ahead and actually copy paste this position value. Go to this one, 3D, do the same exact thing, hit P, make adjustments. I want it to be over like this and then actually bring it up like so then hit p 
move this down just like that. Super, super simple. So let's go ahead and play this through. As you guys can see, the sort of text is way too close to the camera. So it's kind of like right here when we want the text to be back here. And the way we actually affect that is by messing with the Z axis. So we're going to go back to position on the text. And then I'm just going to play with the Z axis, which is this third value, just like so. Which I want to actually affect the how to. So I'm going to bring this back just like that. Just affecting that Z axis. And then from here, we could actually go ahead, just keep pulling it back. I'm going to move this up just like that, because that's kind of about where we want it. Let's go ahead and play it through and see how it's looking. Okay, so that's still kind of not like right where I want it to be. It kind of looks like it's in front of the screen and I kind of want it to be like lined up perfectly with the screen. So I'm just going to continue to move this back just like so. We're going to keep moving it. Let's see kind of how it's looking right here. Okay, so that's looking pretty close to the monitor. So that looks great. Now we're going to play with the rotation because as you guys can see, it's kind of not really on the same plane. So we're just going to play with these values, not that one. We'll play with this one, kind of angle it like so. And honestly, that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to play that through. Sweet. I'm happy with that. Now, all I really want to go ahead and do is just make this bigger. So we're going to go back to scale and just go ahead and make it bigger. Go to position, play with the position. To just really place it exactly where we want it. There we go. That looks really good. And that looks actually really, really tracked. It looks really clean. Now we're just going to go ahead and move this last one, Z axis, closer to the camera. That's kind of just what I have envisioned in my mind and just making it closer to the camera, kind of creating some depth. Just like so. Now let's go ahead and play this through, see what it looks like. But first, let's go ahead and stagger these so that way the in animations are a little bit different. Uh, let me go ahead and play it through. And honestly, that looks pretty damn sick. And there you guys go. That's pretty much the sort of workflow to really get each layer looking and placing it where you want it exactly. Now, of course, this is for tutorial sake. So I'm just showing you guys how to actually get to the point and where all the controls really are so you can tweak it for yourself. So that way you can make really dope looking content. And remember, if you guys want some dope short from content editing assets, go ahead, check out the Takeover shop and pick up some dope products that are gonna save you tons and tons of time and make you a better editor. Remember guys, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.